Well, hello, everybody. It's day 272 of A Song A Day Keeps the Virus Away, and I couldn't quite make it home from Stitch Chicks in Franklin, Connecticut in time to sing for you today, so I stopped at the Brown Hill Marsh because there actually were some uh, bars of of internet availability. So I'm hoping that this turns out okay. Um, so today I'm at this beautiful marsh and I'm going to turn this around. I think, oh, maybe I can't turn it around. Let's see. I'm not sure I can do that. Huh. Now that I've put it here. So let's see. Uh, no, I think, I think you're going to just have to watch the marsh because I can't figure out how to make it turn around. Let's see, maybe, oh, here we go, here we go. There, there, that's me. Okay, so there we go. Now you can see the marsh behind me. So today I'm gonna to sing for you Ruthie Taub's great song called The Garlic Waltz, or otherwise known as The Stinking, uh, oh dear, The Stinking Lily, is it called? Anyway, um, and if you would like your own garlic, you can go to the Children's Music Network auction and. Jackson Gilman is auctioning off 15 bulbs of his own garlic, of a special, a special uh, named garlic. You can go to the cmnonline.org auction and find that out. But without further ado, here is the Garlic Waltz. There are spices and vegetables that you can grow. Some are under the ground, some grow tall. Though they all have their qualities, this you must know, that the garlic is best of them all. The Egyptians, Phoenicians, the Vikings, the Greeks, Babylonians, Danes, and Chinese, on their voyages took enough garlic for weeks, and their enemies died on the breeze. In biblical times, in all parts of the world. It has cured countless suffering and ill. Oh, if we understood what the garlic was worth, we would throw out our poisonous pills. In Bulgaria's mountains and Russia's white plains, it has people live to a hundred years old. For its juice of the garlic that runs in their veins, oh, it's worth twice its weight in pure gold. With selenium, germanium, allicin too, it can fight off all types of disease. So if you've got arthritis, TB, or the flu, or COVID, just say, peel me a garlic clove, please. Plant some cloves in your garden to keep away worms and the other bad things that kill plants. If you're one of those people concerned about germs, you can drop one or two in your pants. There are spices and vegetables that you can grow. Some are under the ground, some grow tall. Though they all have their qualities, this you must know, that the garlic is best of them all. Yes, the garlic is best of of them all. Oh, the garlic is best of them all. Now, if that doesn't bring the beavers out, I don't know what will. There are some beavers in here, I'm told, and lots of ducks over here at the Brown Hill Marsh in, in uh, Hampton, Connecticut. And Tammy Dettinger tells us that they have a garlic potluck every year, um, except last year, of course. And uh, you can all look um, at the movie by Les, oh dear, what's his name? Les, somebody will put it in here, I know, called Garlic is as Good as Ten Mothers. Great movie. And uh, you could have your own garlic potluck while you're watching that great movie. So without further ado, I thank you all for being here and uh, take care. See ya. Tamara. Bye-bye.